Number two, novel drug for primary progressive multiple sclerosis. It can start with blurry vision, tingling in the arms or legs, or a persistent feeling of tiredness. In individuals with multiple sclerosis, or MS, the immune system attacks the fatty protective myelin sheath that covers their nerve fibers, disrupting communication between the brain and other parts of the body. This leads to a decline in function and increased disability. Multiple sclerosis is not a single disease. The majority of patients, around 85%, suffer from relapsing remitting MS, which means they may experience disappearing and reappearing symptoms. In contrast, patients suffering from a less common primary progressive multiple sclerosis have a continuously worsening disease from the time of diagnosis. While research and drug development has created new treatments for relapsing, remitting multiple sclerosis, there hasn't been a drug that showed benefit for primary progressive MS until now. A novel therapeutic monoclonal antibody approved in March 2017 targets a type of immune cell called CD20 positive B cell it reduces the immune response, stopping these cells from attacking and damaging myelin. Given once every six months by an intravenous or IV infusion, the treatment is the first and only MS treatment to target these specialized immune cells and treat the primary progressive population. Positive results from a phase three study of the drug showed significantly slower disability progression over a median treatment duration of three years when compared to placebo. Patients were 24% less likely to have disability progression for three months. This medical innovation brings new hope to patients in an effort to slow the disabling effects of primary progressive multiple sclerosis.